Okay guys, I just wanted to do a real quick overview of everything that we're looking at here. Of course over here we've got the big boy, the Olight exploit. Um, we've got a, a lithium ion rechargeable battery. The free gift which is upside down. I3E EOS there. The iMini. The Olight Seeker 4 Mini. Can't wait to open that one. The metal. The metal. Yes, can't wait to open that one. Titanium square chopsticks. These were the free gift. Um, but, oh, buy right now. If you order anything through them, you get those for free. I got a clip for the Seeker. These are the Oticle P1. This is their new multi-tool. I have a, just their standard Oticle here, which was a free gift. And the Oticle 2 Mini. A nice Olight patch as well. And then from Obi, I got the tactical uh, pouch from EDC Geek or Tactical Geek. Yeah. And these are a couple more batteries for a Valkyrie Turbo. So anyway, uh, let me clear all this stuff up through the magic of video editing. And we'll get into opening it. Okay, guys. Wasn't really sure what to start with. Uh, did some asking around. And I'm going to start with the biggest thing first. Look at those suckers. The titanium square chopsticks from Olife. These don't even need to be opened. Really? Wow, those are hey for a free gift. Those are nice. It looks like they come with a little carrying bag. You get a good look at them there. So super nice looking. Okay, we we'll get a. Ostensibly, you would have to untie those from the back, I guess. They do not want these things escaping. You know what? Let's just untwist them like they're meant to be done. Yeah, those are nice. Lightweight. Lightweight, baby. There you go. You order something on uh, Obi right now, you're going to get the free titanium chopsticks. With the carrying bag. Nice. Okay, let's see what we got up next. Okay, yeah, yeah, we can get this. You guys probably don't even want to see this. This isn't exciting. It's just a battery. I'm not even really sure what this battery goes to. Um, 3.5 volt. Yeah, that's, uh, oh, okay. That's the extra battery for the seeker. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Totally forgot what that was. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's open the little i3e EOS. How about that? This is the free gift this month. So, you know, if you order something, they're going to send you one of these just for your trouble. Not a bad deal. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. Okay. And don't forget to read me. I got to say, this is one of my most carried lights. I have one around my neck right now. I love it. I love it. And there we are. The little culprit. Aha. Uh -huh. So much fun, right? We love it. We love it. And there you go. Triple A. Twist to turn operation couldn't be simpler. 
super bright for its size. Puts out a really, really nice little light. I3E EOS. Okay, guys. And next up, we're going to do the iMini. Like I said, I've been wanting to get one of these so bad. And uh, like I said, right now, I'm wearing the I3E EOS uh, around my neck on a lanyard. And really want to replace it with one of these and maybe put that one on my keychain or give it to somebody I don't know okay here we go don't forget to read me yeah that is cool oh I see why it's called the iMini it is little so I'm assuming it has a Probably has a thing you have to take off as well. Let's see. Hold on. Okay. There it is. Wow. That is a lot of fun. Just going to let him float down over there. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yeah. So when you take it off the magnetic base, it activates the light. I mean, how cool is that? That's the eye mini. Definitely magnetic. Yeah, sit still. There you go. Okay. Next, let's open. Okay. Yeah, so like I was saying before, uh, right now you can get the Otical. Otacle. I think it's Otical. I'm not sure. Uh, it's just like the Stars and Stripes one that I'm using. This is just a uh, yellow one. Yep, there it is. Really, really nice textured scales on it. Some really nice texturing on the scales. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can get it up there for you. Metal back, they're super handy. Throw it in your pocket and you just forget that it's there. Like I was saying, I'm, I'm getting to be a big fan of the utility knife now. Okay, let's see. Yep, okay, here we go. The Odical 2 Mini. This is the titanium. Just a little premium version, I guess, if you will. Okay, yeah. That's nice. I can already tell. I can already tell without even taking it out of here. That's very nice. But let's take it out anyway. Oh, yeah. That's pretty. That is really pretty. You see pictures of them, but the pictures don't really do them justice. That is a great color to that. I love it. Looks like it comes with some sort of lanyard, maybe. Not sure. Okay, yeah. This is from 550 cord. Some OD 550 cord with that. Okay. Okay. And now, on to the Otical P1. Oh, yeah. This is cool. Been waiting a while on this one, too. Ooh. Man, defeated by packaging. No, just kidding. Oh. Okay. All right, I see you, Otical P1. I see you out here. Just for a uh, quick size comparison, this is the SLG Power Leader. A little bit bigger. Just a little bit bigger.
So this is more of a mini. This would be more of a mini set of pliers, but they have a nice snap to them. Oh, yeah. Definitely going to have to check these out more. I, I haven't even read up much on these. I just saw they came out with a new one, and I was like, okay, got to try one of those out. All right. Uh, okay. I think that's... Oh, yeah. It's time. It is time. The Seeker 4 Mini. documentation in the box there it looks like a charger down here on the bottom but let's just get this little buddy out of here oh, oh yeah that's nice oh, that is very very nice okay so it's tail switch charged and oh, oh, hold on now. Gonna stop the presses. Look at, look at that. Would you just look at the shielding, the the protection? Okay, sorry. That, that, just the fit is perfect. I don't know if this has the. Um, Lock out or not? Yep, there it is. Moonlight mode. Oh, that is so bright. And I don't know how to activate the UV on this. I'm going to have to read up on it, but this is the Seeker 4 Mini, it has uh, regular LEDs, and then it has a UV light as well. Um, I'm a huge fan of the arc field. Wanted to kind of see how it's, yeah. It's thicker, but smaller than the arc field. It's way bigger than the i5. Way, way bigger than the i3. Obviously way bigger than the i3T, or IE. So, yeah, it's it's pretty good size. It's like new condition, I swear. But it has a UV light on it somewhere, and I don't know how to activate that, but I'm going to have to figure that out because... Okay, so apparently uh, you single press for flashlight and double press for the UV. Oh, yeah. That is so cool. I've been wanting to check one of these out. Yep. Definitely going to have to carry that one around a bit. And uh, get a good feel for it. Um, I got an extra clip for it. Uh, just in case. You know, um, you never know. You never know. So, um, extra clip goes with that. I don't really need to open that up. Um, I guess last, but certainly not least, it's going to be the metal. Yeah, that's right. We're going metal. With the O-Knife metal. I mean, T-T-L-E. So, it, yeah. But you get it, right? to damage the delicate boxing oh, well, that wouldn't be the way to do it would it there we go and there she is 
So I don't know if you guys have opened any own knife stuff, but their unboxing experience is really nice. Uh, they have a little saying on the inside of each box. It comes with a bag, and then there's some instructions and a microfiber cloth down there as well. But here is the knife itself. Oh, yeah. The O knife metal. Wow, that is very nice. Got a little bit of oil on the blade there, you can see, but that is very sweet button lock perfect yeah Ooh, that is that's very nice yep I'm gonna have to do a review of that this one's going in my pocket like right now this fire Very nice. 154 CRM steel on that one. And got one other box that is a couple of extra batteries. These are just some extra batteries I picked up because they'll have extra batteries you can just get for free. Um, I don't know if it's if you've just ordered that product before, but it pops up on mine all the time. You just kind of have to search down through there and find them. Uh, but you can find them on the website. It's uh, olightstore.com, obviously. Um, yeah, so that's the uh, full unboxing there. That's everything. Oh, we got the uh, forgot the Olight patch. Can't forget that. I have to put that right on one of my pouches for sure. Yeah, we'll have to find a hallowed space for that boy well that is the unboxing um, everything is opened I don't know what you think about any of the stuff that you saw um, I'm going to try to put links to everything down at the bottom but I would say just go to Olight store um, sign up for an account there because every month you get something free. All you got to do is order something. They have a ton of great stuff. Um, I'm just kind of scratching the surface with this unboxing. This is not uh, even close to what they have on hand. I'm finding new stuff on there all the time. Um, this Oticle P1, like I said, it's brand new. Um, the Seeker, it's their new light. Um, so, you know, like I said, they're all they're always coming up with new stuff, new innovative stuff. And, um, you know, you can find some cool gear on there if you need to stock up on some stuff, knives or um, any kind of flashlights, anything really. Uh, Obi has a ton of stuff on there. <clears throat> That's where I got the chopsticks from them um, that uh, I ordered this one through them and the uh, EDC pouch from Tactical Geeks, which didn't really do an unboxing on it it was at the beginning so i'm definitely about to throw some gear into this thing and get rocking with that and um yeah and i can't forget you know the exploit the behemoth i can't even open this thing all the way up on screen i'm gonna just have to start working on trying to fill this thing up but um anyway I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. I hope you guys like watching me unbox stuff as much as I like unboxing this stuff. Um, you know, if you do, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, working on new content all the time. I'm working on uh, do, getting some gear reviews, actually reviews together for a lot of the things that I've opened. Um, you can follow us on Twitter at Average Gear Review. Nope, that's wrong. You can follow us on Twitter at average underscore gear. 
follow us on Instagram at Average Gear Review, all lowercase. And of course, our YouTube channel is Average Gear Review. But um, anyway, leave a comment down below if you have any of this gear and you've used it, or if you want to know anything about the things that were unopened. Um, leave me a question. What's your favorite thing? I, I don't know. I'm really leaning towards this, but I love knives. <laughs> Flippers, just a little. There you go. Might need just a slightly heavier detent on that, but hey, you know, it's brand new. Let's get the oil off of it and we'll really be able to see. Anyway, leave a like on the video, comment down below, tell me what you think, and uh, subscribe. Follow us on our socials. Uh, Average Gear Reviewer is out. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, just wanted to uh, show you real quick in my hurry to unbox this. I forgot the coin is in there, so it uh, the metal actually comes with the challenge coin inside, and I, I don't know how I missed that. Anyway, uh, I've been flicking it a little bit, and it's kind of loosening up. You know how they are brand new. Um, it's a little stiff at first, but it's great. Blade is very, very centered. Got a good feel to it. It's 154, I think CRM steel is what it said. I'm not sure about the blade length and everything on that. Um, like I said, this isn't a full review, just sort of an unboxing here. Um, but I did want to do a comparison. Uh, this is the Roboto 2. So you can see the size compared to it. a little bit bigger slightly larger blade um let's see here's the elementum and good measure throwing the old bug out so yeah it's not a small knife it's it's fairly big actually real good size the button lock on it is really cool I like that. It's going to take some getting used to. I'm not used to a button lock, but uh, I've been having so much fun with the lock on this one. It's just so, so much fun. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to come back in and put this a little bit more in about the knife. Um, just kind of give you a little comparison of the size. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Now leave a like if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing for more content. Leave a comment down below. It really helps us grow the channel. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Average Gear Review and on Twitter at Average underscore gear.